Hey guys, we're back with the Sims Life Stories. If you missed Riley's story, I have a link in the description below. It's really dramatic. It's wonderful. But we're going to be playing Vincent's story this week. I'm going to upload the full story today. It's Super Bowl Sunday. The ads are hot on YouTube. You know, I, whatever, I'm going to cash out. But I, I, before all that, I actually started my new work schedule, so I'll finally have the normal videos for you guys. I know January, you didn't see a lot of videos for me, but I'm finally on my new schedule, so I have more time now. So let's get to Vincent's story. Despite being the wealthy CEO of Gigantor Computing Networks, Vincent Moore has never been lucky in love. While on a business trip to Sim City, Vincent had overseen the finish of JCN's biggest project to date, the SimSat 9000 communication satellite. The launch was flawless, the hands have been shaken, and the bonuses are in the mail. Now Vincent eagerly returns to his modest mansion in Bitville to see his new girlfriend, Samantha Hayden. Samantha told Vincent she had a big surprise waiting for him when he got back. Perhaps Vincent's luck is changing. Is it? Is it now? Let's find out. My modest mansion. Ooh, that's nice. Ah, it's good to finally be home after that two-week business trip. The SimSat 9000 communication satellite wasn't Leo, going to launch Leo. itself. <gasps> Sam Is that Samantha? It's great to finally see Samantha again. I should go give her a kiss. She won't soon forget. Oh. All right. Give her that hot makeout. Oh, yes. Daddy Vincent. Satellite king. Okay, guys. <laughs> Vincent, it's been three weeks since we've started Lava! seeing each other. It's time we made it official. I planned our wedding while you were away. I bought a lovely wedding art with your titanium card. Um, bitch, what? Who gave you that? Who gave you that? Uh, this is way too fast for me, Samantha. We've only been seeing each other for three weeks, and I've been away on business for two of them. Maybe we should take some time off. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you're going to need to give me that titanium card back. No one said you could use that. Two, three weeks I've been away for two. I'm off! I was ready to marry you. I thought you loved me. You'll come to realize what a huge mistake you've made, I promise. Oh my god. She's going to kill me. She's actually going to kill me. Well, I'm not. Well, if I was Vincent, she would kill me. She's going to kill him. Who left this trash here? Damn, she what? Was she staying at my house? There's trash all over. Uh, what? Who did this? Oh my god! What in the hell? How do you even make? Okay. Well, what's next? Please wait. What is she crazy? We've only been seeing each other for three weeks, and I've been gone for most of that time. <laughs> These life stories are fantastic. I'm like forced to clean up now. You know what? Honestly, we're rich. Wait, we have like we have nearly three million in the bank. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, multi-millionaire. I'm gonna call a maid. Someone really made a mess of my house while I was away. I'll I'll hire some help to get this place back into shape. Oh, okay. So that was pretty much the next step, anyways. Service. Get that maid over here. Do you need help keeping your home spick and span? Excuse me. Do yes, actually I do. I'll help you. Just so this goes a little more quickly. I can't believe Samantha put a wedding arch on my back deck while I was away. And where's my best friend Greg? He's supposed to be looking after the place. Dude, he was honestly probably dicking Samantha, let's be real. How do we know we can trust her after three weeks? How do we know we can trust our best friend? All right, take down. Oh, <laughs> that wedding arch is coming down now. Can't believe she bought that thing with my titanium card. How did she get her hands on it? You need to be a little bit more um, aware of where your credit cards are, Vincent. You got 30 million or 3 million in the bank. Everyone wants a piece of that cash. All right, I feel better already. Having that wedding arch out on the deck was starting to freak me out. All right, we're good now. Oh yeah, this house is cute. Let's do the home tour. 
Is my maid? Oh my god, there's still trash everywhere. I think someone threw a party while I was go away. Something went down. Need some comfort food. This mess has me feeling down. Alright, comfort food. Go for it, buddy. What's he making? TV dinner. Good TV dinner. It's a nice comfort food. Alright, this there is something very calming about a nice meal at home. There is. A nice pea at home next to your little plant. These are the things I live for in life. Um, oh, okay. I thought the maid left for a second. I was like, um, do you really think you're done here today? Do you really think you earned your paycheck? Greg's finally back from wherever. I should talk to him and find out where he's been the, this whole time and why this place is such a mess. Greg, what the fuck, man? What have you been up to? Wait, what do I have to do? Just talk? Yeah. All right, Greg was supposed to be looking after the place. Ask him why he dropped the ball on this one. Dude, he's probably taking advantage of me. Probably threw a party. This shower is nice. Dude, I'm um, back so soon. I was going to clean up and everything. Sorry about the mess. Don't worry about it, Greg. I just hired a maid. So why did you let Samantha put that wedding arch in my yard? It really freaked me out. We just broke up over it. Oh, right, dude. She had this crazy look in her eye and this big smile on her face. There was no way I was going to mess with her. Greg, <laughs> please. Dude. How'd she get her hands on my credit card? Look on the bright side. I just bought you this awesome new computer. Oh, by the way, uh, don't ask about your old computer. What? Oh. All right, I'll take it. I mean, it looks pretty legit. Very red. It's a little sketchy, though. All right, they're done. Yes, we're way ahead of you, game. The computer's on the table. Overall, it's been a crazy day. I'll have to knuckle down and seize the day tomorrow. Today, it seems like the day has seized me. All right, chapter one. As soon as I got back from the SimSat 9000 communication satellite launch, Samantha basically tried to get me to marry her. After three weeks of dating, I had just gotten back from a two-week two -week business trip. It would have been a little too creepy for us to stay together after that, which is fine because Samantha stormed off after I refused to marry her. Yeah, she would. Whatever, Samantha. Bye, bitch. We don't need you. We got three million in the bank. I'm ready to be alone for my entire life. I have Greg. Look at Greg. I have him. That's the life I need. <laughs> I'm gonna go to- wait, are we even tired? No, not really. How are we? Oh, we have two days off. We really only have to work the four days. I mean, we're living pretty uh, good here. I don't have to do much. Wanna eat my ass, Greg? Just, like, romantically. Nothing more than that. I have to go, dude. See you later. Bye, Greg. I hope it wasn't anything I said. I'm sorry. I creeped you out, but you did make my house a mess. What the? The maid didn't clean this up. All right, I'll clean. Where is... All right, they clean everything up but that. All right, I'll forgive them. They did mostly clean up the house. They did not see that, though. Dude, all the guys are going bowling tonight. Forget Samantha. You need to get out of the house. Greg's right. I need to get my mind off of Samantha. I haven't bowled in a while. This should be fun. Ooh, bowling night with the boys. Let's do it. All right, what are we doing to get there? I better. I like looking at this because if you do it like slightly wrong, it just it usually doesn't work. I'm lousy at bowling, but I look good when I do it as long as I can stay on my feet. Meet up with Greg, T, and taxi. Okay, I can do that or I can click the taxi button. All right. 
Jean's pool. Nurture your DNA by taking a few laps in Jean's pool. <laughs> All right, bowling lane. Strike one, come on down. Strike two, get a drink. Strike three, you are on a roll. Let's go. All right, look, I'm eating a damn meal. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're totally having to wait. We're here. The gang's all, look, there's Sherman. Hey man, we're already bowling, join the fun. Greetings and salutations, Vincent. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, Kelly. Stereotypical nerd voice. How could I? Alright. Time to beat these fools. Bowling, a real sport. Oh no, let me read it. Dude, it's, dude, it's good that you made it out. What with yesterday being so crazy and everything? I don't really want to talk about that right now, Greg. I thought I liked Samantha, but I didn't think she'd try to pressure me into marriage after three weeks. I'm trying to get that three mil. Good game, and the scenery here isn't bad either. Yeah, dude, Samantha was a total basket case. I guess. Ah, a swan song between the recalcitrants of love. However, <laughs> Sorry, however, the true crux of the issue, thus far unmentioned, seems prima facie to be pecuniary in nature. <laughs> okay, Sherman. Sure thing. Dude, Sherman's right. She was probably just after your shimoleons. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, here's some girls. Vince, don't look at now, but the girl at the coffee bar is really cute. Oh. Just go get a cup, dude. Oh, Naomi Hunt. Naomi, Naomi. Polly depends where you live, how you say it. Alright, let's go uh, get a cup. Ew! <laughs> Did you see her? She's like... <laughs> Oh, no, I made the noise. Disturbing. Very unprofessional. Oh, I want more story games like this <laughs> for the sim, like updated sims. Let's see what the sims 4 brings. I'll take a coffee and, oh, how embarrassing. I lost my number. Can I have yours? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you my number on one condition. Never use that line again. Deal. <sighs> Poisonous coffee. <laughs> no charge. It's on the house. Dude, how'd it go? Did you get her digits? Strangely, yeah, I did. Awesome. If you're not going to call her, I'd be willing to take her number off your hands. Yep, I bet you would. I bet you would, Greggy. How about no? You can have Tina Pie. I'm done with bowling, fellas. Who's up for pool? I guess. I'll show Sherman and Greg my amazing pool skills. Let's join. Oh, she's watching me perform. Gotta run. It was nice to meet you, Vincent. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. I'll give you a, a call later. Can't believe how much worse I've gotten at pool since my college days. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought... <laughs> I thought she was fucking backhanding Tina. I thought Brittany was about to smack her ass out. Her whole, like, with what she put in the arm. I thought it was coming down on Tina's face. I wish it was. It's too bad. You can't always go. Oh, now they're arguing about math. Dude, you just got out of a relationship. You don't want to get involved in another one so soon. Just give me Naomi's number, and I'll get rid of it for you, all right? Keep dreaming, pal. Greg, look, you noticed her at first. Why don't you just go get the cup of coffee and creep on her? Oh, right, you didn't have the balls. Mm -hmm. 
I must bid adieu to you, comrades. Nebula Galactic will be airing shortly, and Captain Xavier has yet to resolve an imprisonment dilemma with the NATO bounty hunters. May the power see you prosper. <laughs> Whatever you say, dude. See you later. Bye, Sherman. <gasps> There's Sherman. Goodbye. Oh, my God. He's so precious. So adorable. I wish we all had a Sherman. <laughs> Don't look now, Chief, but Samantha just walked in with your best friend, Johnny. Johnny? Johnny Cullen? I can't believe she's with my main business competitor. She was talking about marriage, what, yesterday? This is ridiculous. Flirting with three other girls should show her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're gonna flirt with this. Oh, how convenient. Three girls. Alright. I should flirt with three different girls to show Samantha that I don't care that she's with Johnny now. Look at this, the pettiness. Like, we dated her for three weeks. We don't need to get that petty. We don't need to sink down to her, like, level. It's just embarrassing. But okay, we'll do it. Why not? Let's see. Let's give a hot wolf whistle out to this girl. What's her name? Angel. What was that noise? Aren't you Vincent Moore, millionaire CEO? Somehow I thought you'd be taller. Oh, fuck. Yeah, right. All right, let me let me flirt with this girl. She's right there. Sweet talker. She better not. Don't say anything mean, though, because I'm trying to, like, make her jealous. So, okay. okay. Just act disgusted. Hey, watch it. I came here to bowl and I get knocked over by pinheads. <gasps> it's not working. Moran. <gasps> <laughs> I left my phone number at home. You wait here. I'll go get it. Dang. That was pathetic. You're really taking this hard, aren't you? Perhaps you realize how good you had it with me. It's too late now, though. I'm with Johnny, and he knows how to treat a lady. Ta-ta. Um, did you just ta-ta me? Whatever. I'm not jealous. I swear I'm not, I'm not jealous. Oh. See you later, chump. Fuck off, Johnny. Damn it, Greg. It's the worst day of my life. Actually, it's not. We're good. Ouch, that was harsh, man. I'm not talking about what happened with Samantha. Yeah, I know, but at least I got Naomi's number. Anyway, I think I'll head home now. Later, man. Later, dude. I'm leaving too. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you. I signed you up for an e-dating service last night. Now the ladies will be coming to you. Enjoy. What? Jeez, thanks for the... I'll see you later. Chapter 2. It's been a while since I had gone bowling with the guys. Samantha was there with my competitor, Johnny Cullen. That didn't ruin my evening, but getting shot down by those girls I was trying to flirt with sure did. At least I got that barista's number. And she seems quite nice. And we seem like a total creeper. All right. Oh, thanks for the warning. All right, let's go home. No one's here. Like, oh, this person is. Erica Gunstrom, what are you doing here? The bowling alley is closed. Oh, no, I'm still creeping on Brittany. Leave her alone. She already said she doesn't want to talk to you. Good grief, I went bowling to cheer myself up and ended up getting shot down. Wasn't a total loss, though. I got Naomi's number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? Creeping on my house. Recycle the newspaper. Everything's, let me turn that off. Make some food. Looks like the Amps Hall pool table I ordered on Simbay finally arrived. Nice. Very nice. Then I always sure was amazing, and I got her number. I should wait a day, but I definitely want to call her soon. Ooh, we're on the e-dating website now, too. We have so much fun. Let's put our table, our pool table we got. Um, we'll put it right there, I guess. I mean, that's kind of the entranceway, but there's nowhere else to really put it. So that's where it's going. Naomi gave me her number last night. I think I'll ask her out for a date at Cliffside Park, but I should get changed first. Okay. I should change into something a little more stylish if I'm going to ask Naomi out today. 
All right. Ooh. Uh, hope we have decent clothes. How about... What does our formal look like? Oh, that's pretty formal, though. Why stop now? This new outfit looks so good. I should change my appearance as well. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, he looks pretty good. We'll keep him as is. Now that I have this fresh new look, I'll invite Naomi to Cliffside Park. Alrighty, let's do it. Ah, the wonderful blessing of nature. It's nice to get outside once in a while. All right, transportation. Oh, wait. I have to I have to do it that way. You have to call transportation. Invite a sim. There she is. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. All right. Where are we going? Cliffside Park. This beautiful three-tiered park provides plenty of benches to enjoy the view down to the river. Try to catch a local Maishuno tournament. Oh god, I hope there's not swings at this park, or we're gonna have to hear the woohoo, ba ba, woohoo, ba ba. Whenever the male sims are on the swings, they just keep screaming it and keep screaming it, and they don't stop. It never ends. The ba ba woohoo never ends. Oh god, there are swings. Please no Baba Woohoo's. Okay. That's the worst part about Sims 2 is you heard just they repeat things so much. Every interaction. It's like one Simlish. It's good to see you again, Vincent. Oh my god, she's like moaning. Thanks for coming out on such short notice. Whoa, what is going on? Calm down. We just met. I'm not used to this type of dating, but I think I really like this girl. I should take the time to get to know her better. <laughs> All right, Vincent, you, you asked her for coffee. That's And then we just said hello. We got on the date. Like, we, we don't know her. You know you really like her. I won't judge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is she wearing? I just noticed... Is that a jean skirt? What the? Is she serious? Um, okay. Wow. Actually. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, no, I'm not. That's no. I'm not. I, I think jean skirts. Especially like no like long jean skirts freak me out. Cause this one girl called me like a fucking demon and fiend and she'd wear long jean skirts and talk in tongues when she like prayed. So ever since that, like I don't know, I'm a little like, whoa, someone's wearing a long jean skirt. I don't know about them. Not I'm just kidding. I, I don't judge anyone by their jean skirts. I swear. Alright, I judge them by their actions. Alright, what are we doing though? Nami's beauty stands out, even here. I really enjoy her company and should get to know her better. Let's talk to her a bunch. Oh, there we go. There's the Baba Woohoos. Of course they were coming. Are you good at my shuna, Vincent? Uh, the best. Oh, I'm not the best. Let's give it a shot anyway. See, I was going for confidence, but... Alright, are we playing it? Is this count? With my, my, with my, my shuno skills and Naomi, we should be unbeatable. Alright, let's make sure we're doing this right. Alright, are we playing? There we go. Wow, Vincent, you're better than you let on. <laughs> All right. I'll just take a moment to chat with Naomi about the game and how well we did together. Oops, that's gossip. Let's not gossip. Let's talk. That was fun. What a close game. Oh no, demon, be gone! Be gone, demon! Oh my god. 
What are they doing? She's she like is stalking me and knew I was on this day and now they're about to sabotage it. Don't you dare. Okay. Um. What are they saying? Oh my god, alright, the drama. It was great seeing you last night, Vinny. I got you this look of the X to Bay, a tiki torch to make next to make next time even hotter. You have my number if you want to party again. See you later, Playboy. <gasps> I'm sorry, Vincent. I thought we had something special, but it looks like you're just shopping around. <gasps> I don't even know her. I don't even know her. <gasps> Spare Naomi. Come back. I can't let you and your jean skirt go. Don't do this to me. At least I still have the swings and I can move Baba. Who is this girl anyway? This is horrible. I really like Naomi. I should go home and gather my thoughts. How dare you? I can't believe you did that. Lying whore. Alright, let's let's actually go home. We have work in the morning. Chapter 3. So I had my first date with that barista, Naomi, but it didn't quite go as I'd have liked. I embarrassed myself badly at my shuno, and this strange girl came up to me and thanked me for a date we never had, right in front of Naomi. Naomi just stormed off. She didn't even give me a chance to defend myself. We need a, like, we need a restraining order on Samantha real soon here. She's getting a bit weird. Wait, did we just have, we just had mac and cheese and like we're not even, it, it filled up half the hunger. That's the issue with The Sims too. Like, it was, you had to eat like two meals to fill your hunger. Who was that girl that ruined my date? And why didn't Naomi let me explain? At least I can count on Sherman to call me tomorrow to update me on the satellite. What? We're going to work in a helicopter. Who's that? Wow. I want to go to work in a helicopter. Well, I work at home, so. Helicopter is a bit much for that, I guess. Just a reminder that the SimSat 9000 communication satellite will be orbiting over Bitville tonight. I would also like to add that our project status is copacetic. Very good, very good. We done, Sherman? Alright, we're done. Get all my shit together. I have to eat yet again, 10 meals a day. I should call Naomi and try to convince her to give me another chance. Okay, maybe if I call Naomi and explain things, she'll give me another chance. I don't know how that happened, but I don't want Naomi to be upset with me. Alright, let's call her. Well, after I eat. After I eat. I know. Get a hot dinner in. Just casually calling her in our underwear. Whatever. Hi, you've reached Naomi's answering machine. I'm not home right now, so try calling again later. Thanks. I don't know what to do about Naomi. I think she might be screening her calls. Dang. We got the FU button. Straight to voicemail. Well, you know, I guess just move on. Does Naomi always screen her calls, or is she just angry with me? We barely know her. <laughs> We're turning into Samantha. Who's this calling? Who are you? Oh, is that the girl who told me off at the bowling alley? Who said uh, she lost her No, It is her. She said she lost her number, so she has to go home and get it or something just to get away from me. <gasps> Whatever. Now you're calling me, trying to get... And she found out we had some money. Now she's calling us. I see that. Mm-hmm. You're obvious. Whatever, Brittany. Whatever. 
Oh shit, carpool's here. Hell yeah. Maybe Naomi sent me an email. I'll go check. Yeah, I'm sure she sent me an email. I'm sure. Got one new email. Hi, you seem like the kind of guy who really knows how to treat a lady. Let's meet up at the Arcadian Plaza at 6 p.m. I'm just sure you'll show me a wonderful time. I just love gifts. Sasha. Um, all right, let's just delete that email. I just love gifts. He's gonna be like, oh, maybe she's nice. What's this? Greg wasn't kidding about that dating service and judging by the picture on her profile, this Sasha girl seems pretty fine. I'd rather be figuring things out with Naomi, but I think she's giving me the cold shoulder. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good thing I checked my email. I was hoping for a message from Naomi, but this one seems promising. Yeah, it seems really promise promising. Samantha number two. Why not? I might as well gussy up and see what Sasha's all about. All right, I guess let's do it. All right, gussy up. Get all pretty for our date. Forget about Naomi. She's going to ignore me over a silly misunderstanding. I better hurry up and meet Sasha. She said to meet at the Arcadian Plaza at 6 p.m. Mm. All right. I should go to the Arcadian Plaza at 6 p.m. and greet Sasha there. She probably doesn't like to be kept waiting. All right, let's go. To shop at a cranium, you need the titanium. Oh, baby, I got it. I got it. Well, unless Samantha still has it. Hopefully she still doesn't have it. Well, all of our money would be disappearing if she did. All right, where is she? Let's see her. It's not... Uh, did she... Oh, there she is. Sasha. Hello. Let's go introduce ourselves. Hello, Hello, Vincent. You know I love a man who knows how to use his starch. Yeah, that well, outfit must have made a lot of noise in the dryer. Ah, uh, thanks, I think. <laughs> I should get to know Sasha a little bit first. Oh, Let's talk to her. I should chat with Sasha a little while and try to get to know her better. We might have some similar interests. All right, let's no. see. Oh, but that. Talk her up. You can go for a friendly hug yet. Hey, while we're here, do you mind if I try some clothes on? Sure, we're already at the mall. Why not? Just what I wanted to do. Vincent, come check out my outfits. Ooh. She's going to try on some outfits for us. Okay. Sasha has an interesting take on good taste. Expensive is always in style. Really? Calling at my wallet isn't. Okay. 